Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to another video. And today is going to be a collaboration video with Tyler from the channel TM Scent. Guys, today we're going to bring you our top five must try fall fragrances. Okay, so these are fragrances that to us have been overlooked or not a lot of people have known about. So kind of like more of like a top five hidden gem fall, if you will. Okay, and with that said, I have Tyler start with his number five. How's it going, Timmy? Thank you very much for having me on your channel. And today we are here to discuss top five must try fall fragrances. So these are all fragrances you probably might not have heard of. Now this last one has actually been getting a good amount of hype recently, but I just think it isn't getting nearly enough for what it is and how cheap it is. This is Ferrari Leather Essence. Now this fragrance is not necessarily what I would call niche quality, but what it is, is a wonderful cheap leather. It has notes of clove and cinnamon mixed with sandalwood and leather, and it really Really is just a fantastic, creamy, inoffensive leather, perfect for formal scenarios, perfect for everyday use. I actually find myself really enjoying this. And for the price, it's hard to beat. Ferrari Leather Essence. All right guys, from my number five spot, I have this fragrance right here. This one is called Wildfire from the House of Raw Spears. Now this fragrance to me smells like a very, very dry, woody fragrance, all right? Much like the name suggested, Wildfire smells really dry, woody, with a little bit of a smoky touch to it. it smells a lot more more like not a wildfire that's happening but a wild like an aftermath of a wildfire after like the rain have fallen on it the firemen have put out the fire you get this you left with this like really um, dry woody feel like two or three days after the water everything dried out it's a very very nice nice woody fragrance it leans a bit feminine but to me it feels like any a guy can easily pull this off it's more of a relaxed fragrance but amazing Amazing, amazing for the price. I love it so much. Actually, this is my favorite one from the House of Raw Spirits as well, guys. So guys, number five, Wildfire. My number four fragrance is another leather fragrance. I really love the note of leather in the fall. This is La Yucawon Porom from the House of Rasasi. Now this is of the more expensive clones that are out there, but this is almost a pitch perfect clone of Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. Now Tuscan Leather for me was way too smoky and way too ashy on my skin, but this actually develops into a smoother fragrance than Tuscan Leather. You don't have that ashtray-like aroma on your skin for nine hours. It's a sour, animalistic leather with kind of a suede, dry down, and a hint of raspberry. I actually really enjoy it, and this is gonna get a lot of use in the fall. Now on to my number four spot, guys. I have this guy right here from the house of largest some perfume. This one is Skin on Skin. Now Skin on Skin is a very tamed, very very tamed suede iris kind of fragrance. It has this champagne like accord in the opening so it smells like a bubbly champagne in the back while in the background it has this really really soft like tame suede like I said tame suede plus iris it's actually one of the only iris fragrances that I like besides Valentino Wobo Intense I generally don't like iris whatsoever but the iris in this is just so smooth it's very smooth blends in with the suede very well and that champagne on top just makes this fragrance very 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 sensual and the one thing about this fragrance that you need to know is that it has a different texture it has a very unique texture i really hard it's really hard to explain it but if you smell this fragrance you will realize right away that it doesn't feel like your average perfume all right guys so skin on skin by largest and perfume my number four spot number three i actually owe to my boy timmy here this is Salt Caramel from Shea and Blue. This fragrance, oh my god. Now, it doesn't always smell like salt caramel popcorn. Sometimes it smells like salt, sometimes it just smells like caramel, sometimes it just smells like popcorn. But every once in a while, you do get a whiff when it just all coincides so beautifully and it smells like just this, this caramel corn that's been cooking in this big smoky kettle all day at, a, at like a carnival. And not even like a good, car like a really crappy carnival that like you're gonna get like a venereal disease from just going on one of the rides. It is a perfect gourmand. It is an amazing, sensual, kind of playful fragrance. I wear it a lot when I'm cuddling with my girlfriend. And it's also like dirt cheap for a niche fragrance. So definitely check out Shea and Blue Salt Caramel. All right guys, now onto my number three spot. This one's my favorite, favorite hiking fragrance, guys. I wore this on a hike and I fell in love like immediately. All right, this one's my house of Zoologist, this one is called Elephant. Wow, this one is a really, really great foresty type scent. It smells extremely green, but also extremely woody at the same time. I would say a, a little bit more woody than it is green. Maybe that's why I like it so much, because normally you guys know I don't like green fragrances, but this one has a really, really nice, 
sandalwoodish woody accord, all right? I, I like the reason I say woody accord because I did ask Victor and he said it's not sandalwood, it's more of like a woody accord. So yeah, amazing fragrance, very, very like natural smelling. I guess when I wore it on a hike, I felt like I was actually one with nature. So yeah, <laughs> amazing fragrance. I love, I love these fragrances that can transport me places. This is definitely one of them, guys. My number three spot, Swallowgers Elephant. All right, we're getting down to the wire here. This is number two. This is Slow Explosions from the House of Imaginary Authors. Now this one got a lot of hype when it first came out, but then it all kind of died down. And I don't know why, because this stuff is amazing. This stuff is a spicy, juicy rose fragrance, but it's not feminine in any way. It's got saffron, it's got leather and green apple. It's so wonderful and so pleasant. Um, it's very outgoing, it's very loud spoken. And I think it's like the perfect fall kind of going out scent. Like you're, you're headed out, you're hitting the town and it's, it's just wonderful. This is Slow Explosions from Imaginary Authors. Moving on to my number two spot guys, this fragrance I used to not like so much and then the more I smell it, the more I start to fall for it. This one is from the house of Baruti. This one is called Tinder. Now this fragrance is a very strange fragrance because it smells grassy, but it's not your typical type of grassy. It's not green grassy. It's more like fall grass, like brownish, orangey, grassy smell with like a really cooling, like a cool air kind of smell. So imagine laying in like a patch of like brown, like grass with cool fall breeze, like you know, going over you. It smells exactly like that to me. It's very relaxing, super, super like sensual as well. I, I would love to cuddle someone like on a patch of grass with this fragrance. I love it so much now. I don't know why. I just like it in the beginning. <laughs> My nose developed a lot since then. But guys, do not sleep on this fragrance. It's super cheap as well, $110 for this. Amazing, amazing, amazing quality. Ah, man. I'm smelling this right now. And you, <laughs> I can't stop smelling it. It's just so good. All right, guys, <laughs> number two spot. Do not sleep on this one. Baruti's Tinderer. Now don't get me wrong, I know what you're thinking. You're looking at the fragrances I picked and you're like, ah, I've kind of heard of them before. I can guarantee that no one here has tried this fragrance because no one ever talks about it. I have heard one other person talk about it and it is a shame because this stuff is amazing. Number one from the house of Atelier Cologne. This is Santal Carmen. Atelier Cologne gets a lot of very justified credit for their citrus fragrances, but I don't think they get nearly the credit they deserve for this amazing, creamy, dusty sandalwood fragrance. It's It's got a hint of vanilla, it's got a hint of saffron in it to kind of spice up the opening, but when it dries down, it is just a wonderful, sweet, creamy sandalwood that is just to die for. I love this stuff and I'm going to be wearing it so much, I'm gonna get a full bottle before the end of the fall. Number one is Santal Carmen from the House of Atelier Cologne. So that's gonna do it for my list. Thank you very much, Timmy, for having me over on your channel. It's been an honor, I really love your channel, and I will see you guys over at TM Sense. Go ahead and check it out. A little bit of shameless plugging I'm doing here. See you guys. Finally guys, the number one spot. This fragrance is from a house that is probably one of my favorite houses I've ever discovered in the year of 2017. From the house of Solstice Scents, this one is Owl Creek Airwork. And guys, you guys watch my top seven gourmand fragrance, you guys already know what this fragrance smells like. It's literally like a pumpkin spice pie. Oh wow, it smells just like Thanksgiving. <laughs> Like pumpkin spice, very delicious, very hyper realistic as well. Every time I smell this fragrance, I can imagine like the dessert in front of my face. Like I want to eat this fragrance, but I, you know, obviously I can't, I would die. But it's just that realistic smelling, like wow. And actually a lot of fragrances from this house smell realistic. She's, I think she's very skilled in that department. There's one fragrance from her house that's called Foxcroft. It smells just like fall, like dry, decaying leaves, cool air. Just like fall, that's another amazing one, but whew, I don't own that one. I own this one, so this one's just my number one for now. Guys, wow, if you like gourmand fragrances, if you love gourmand fragrances, if you love artistic fragrances, this is the one you have to check out. Also, the whole house of soul to sense as well, guys. Big, big love, all right? My number one spot, Owl Creek's Airwork. All right, guys, that's it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to check out TM Sense. I'll have his link down in the description below and on the screen right now somewhere, maybe random. But yeah, check him out, and also, guys, if you guys don't know, I do have a Patreon, so guys, don't forget to check that out as well. If you love this video, if you love me so much, I would appreciate, appreciate the 
support. All right, guys. And with that said, I'll see you guys later with another video. Peace out and bye.